So let's talk about when your narcissistic mother was never nurturing to you, what to do as you are a grown adult now trying to live a life knowing that your mother was never a nurturing person and is narcissistic. My name is Lisa Colucci and I am here to help you understand, recover and transform your life after being with toxic people, in particular narcissists. Okay, so hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. If you need coaching or group coaching or you need peer support, Check out the information in the main description of every video, you guys. It's there to help you if you need it. Okay, so let's talk about this. So every baby born needs nurturing. They need care, attention, emotional connection, nurturing environment, healthy food, water, sunlight, all the good stuff, right? Even baby animals need this nurturing. And narcissistic mothers are not known for their nurturing. So you get a whole different reality when you've been nurtured by a narcissist. The thing is, you grow up without a sense of how to give to yourself the nurturing attention that each person needs through self care, through learning to be mindful, learning relaxation, learning how to have an inner dialogue that isn't beating yourself up. And that's just one reason that narcissistic mothers have such a negative effect on children. We gain this sense of nurturing, how to be loving toward oneself a lot from the way we're taught by our mothers, okay? And there's a lot of mothers in this world who are not narcissistic and not the most nurturing people by the traditional sense of the word, but they know how to give of themselves in the ways that they can give of themselves and create different forms of nurturing for their children because they're not toxic. The thing about a narcissistic mom is she will give oftentimes, she will look nurturing. She'll take care of the daily ins and outs and make sure her children are a certain thing, but everything in that nurturing is circling back to herself. Everything about it is self-gratification, self-satisfying for her ego in order to control and manage the thing that she identifies with as hers, which is you, right? It isn't about you. True nurturing is a giving of self from love for love's sake, all right? And it's super sad when someone has grown up without that. It's, it's heartbreaking. And oftentimes when I do these videos, people tell me that they cry because they didn't have that. So what do you do? How do you get past the fact that you were never nurtured in a loving, selfless way, right? Because you had a narcissistic mother. And like I said, there's all forms of nurturing. It doesn't have to look like one thing. And some mothers are just not good at the nurturing part in the traditional sense, but they're not narcissistic. And so their children receive from them the pieces of themselves they're able to give in the form of nurturing, right? But like I said, with a narcissist, it's always gonna cycle back no matter what that nurturing looks like to herself. And oftentimes they don't nurture at all. They see their children as fathers and problems and they criticize and they say, I wish I never had you and you caused every bad thing that ever happened in my life. So there's some really vile, toxic mothers out there. And then there's some covert narcissistic mothers who look like nurturing. They look like they're doing it all just right, but there's just something about it that is empty. And, and as you grow and you see that everything always has to be about her and that she guilt trips you for the things she nurtures you for, right? And that she, and that she, makes it so that you need her to feel nurtured. You aren't taught how to do it for yourself. You aren't taught that you are just an amazing human being because of who you are. You aren't seen as an individual. You're seen as an extension of her. And so the nurturing is always poured out to you and funneling back to her, all right? And so what do you do as a grown adult when this is your indoctrination into life, right? Well, you got to learn to nurture yourself. You got to learn to take care of yourself and remother yourself. It is super important. We've been talking a lot on the live streams about healing and, and how to change the way we think about things and how to how to use different parts of ourself to bring in this nurturing care. So go back and watch some of those. I've cut them all up into smaller videos all throughout the channel. So go back and watch some of those because I think this is not one thing. This is a process. And if you're watching this and you recognize that's where I'm at, I don't know how to nurture myself. 
I'm going to give you just a couple tips, but this is just a start. Okay, so ask questions. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me where you're stuck. And we will keep talking about this over time and try and create a series of videos to help people through this process. It's not one thing. It's a whole lot of things. Okay, so one thing is learn to be mindful whatever that means to you, coming into a sense of right now, this moment, embodying your body, being present to yourself. It can be five seconds, you guys. If you say, I'm too scared, I don't like it, I don't want to, include that resistance. That's okay, I don't want to, but here I am. I don't wanna do this, but here I am. Okay, done, right? Five seconds. It can be three seconds, whatever you can tolerate, right? Once you start getting used to the feeling, you can add some time to it. You can say, okay, I'm gonna just sit and listen to what the room sounds like and i'm going to be in my body and notice what my body's feeling like and i'm going to be in and you know if you have pain or discomfort in your body or if you have a lot of anxiety then focus on something else use your vision look around use hold something in your hand and notice what that thing is it's about getting out of your head for a minute out of the thoughts and the negative thinking about yourself and the you know all the stuff and the loops and getting into this just this present moment it is in effect not scary okay but i know that for a lot of people it can be hard to get there and challenging to experience because the present has been scary in the past so here's another tip if you feel anxious about it look around seriously turn your head and look around is anything in this moment right now threatening you if not okay you got 10 seconds of safety try it okay and make it silly okay I got no one no monsters under the bed let's go 10 seconds there i am okay like for real super fast all right so another another tip i'll add in here is start listening to your inner dialogue listen to the voice that's your mother and say oh i hear you okay you were right it repeating what she said now let's come up with our own thoughts right start telling yourself directly ah there's mom's thought again that's not my thought wonder what i would think about this questions 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 don't try to answer it you don't need to plug in a brand new response or some affirmation really questioning what do i actually think how do i actually feel about me that's mom that's not me oh i hear you mom thought good job brain you're good at recording information thank you now what else right so keep working toward autonomy you guys keep working toward finding self. And with that, like I said, let me know in the comments if any of this is something you're working on for yourself and how I can help you with that. Okay. I'll talk to you guys next time. You take care. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Bye bye.